You're welcome back. You're still on to Good Morning Nigeria on the network service of the NTA. Up next is Newspaper Review. Newspaper reviewer Chukudi Okoli Obaja is uh, right here in the studio looking all fresh. I'm not sure that um, the inflation gets to you. You begin to ask who looks fresher. He's come out here to flatter me this you, morning. You have to consider age. You know, a, no problem. We know <laughs> the real truth. Anyhow, I am happy. One day at a time. Good morning, Demola. Good morning, Victor. Good morning. It's not Demola too... is not very happy. Yeah, I'm not excited at all with this uh, news of a uh, new adoption in Kaduna. 86. It's, it's, it, it's sad. It it's sad. So, um, it's not, it's not, Remember uh, it's the not a cherry news. It's really worrisome. Remember the question I asked the last time. Is this such an ungoverned territory? It's, it's, it's that, that they can, um, you know, go over sense. and no, over no, and no, over. No, I think no, this no, is, no. is this, this is the third or so in Kaduna. That's what's happening. And that, by implication, is saying our security forces. Why are you not extending <sighs> the much needed security to these brothers and sisters of ours in distress? Hmm. Is this such an ungoverned territory? <sighs> Why do they get away with it so easily? I'm that telling you, that's, that's the question, that's the actually. Point. That's the question. Okay, let's, let's kick start. Uh, all right. We begin with uh, the leadership newspaper here. And just above the masthead, soldiers' killers won't escape justice, says defense ministers. Uh, that's uh, on page seven. Perform or be sacked, Wiki tells FCTA permanent secretaries. That's on page six. And... Um, the major headline here reads, Bandits sustain attacks on Kaduna, abduct another 86. That's on page 4. With the riders, outlaws raided Kajuru Sunday night. Ten days after, terrorists yet to contact families of 287 students. Defense chief visits Kaduna, as governor says, school children will return safely. And then faces of soldiers killed in Okwama ambush um, is there right there on the front page of the leadership. And uh, by the side, um, on page six, you find Labor Party lawmakers continue fight over convention. That's on page six. Non-academic staff strike grounds. Non-academic staff strike grounds varsities. That's quite uh, my fool. Page four. The FCC recovers three two four houses for Kanu pensioners. That's on page nine. Finally, APC will win Edo Guba election, says Tinubu. You can find that on page ten of the leadership. And uh, that takes us to the New Telegraph, which leads again with Kaduna. Fear, tension as bandits kidnap 87 loot shops in fresh attack with the riders 48 hours after abducting 14 residents as Kajuru, Chikung, local government areas become hotbeds of kidnapping banditry. You can find that story on page two. Adopt 2014 Confab report, Anyoko tells FG, that's on page four. Of course, Anyoku refers to the former uh, Secretary General of uh, the Commonwealth of Nations. Uh, says 1999 Constitution lacks legitimacy. Nigeria, pluralistic country, struggling to become a nation. That story is on page four. And then stories we have um, already read from the uh, leadership. The defense minister saying killers of uh, the soldiers must face justice. Um, pay varsity workers avoid strike outcome, NLC tells FG. That's on pages 4, 26, and 28. With the rider, Unilori Jack, 
joins warning strike as FG begs Sanu Nasu to call off action. Budget padding review 2024 budget forms deployment to critical areas. That's according to OB on pages 2 and 28 and it has a rider. Politics is over. Use your experience to support Tinubu. Governor Sule tells OB. I think that's uh, the much uh, there is. Okay. Um, I have the Nigerian pilot uh, newspaper with me here. The conscience of the nation. And below the nameplates, soldiers by journalist as Governor Oboro Wari visit Okwama community. The story can be found on page 7. NLC backs Nasu Sanu strike, demands immediate payment of salaries. The story can be found on page 6. Bandit adult 87 in fresh Kaduna attack. Daredevil bandits have reportedly kidnapped seven persons in fresh Kaduna attack. Attack occurred at Dongonoma village in Kajuru, local government of the state. They also looted some shops, houses, carted away valuables. As CDS assures that all abducted people in Kaduna will soon be rescued. There will be no reprisal attack on Okwama community, Ami assures. And that story can be found on page 6. An appeal court dismisses Nandikano's suit against police and DSS. Uh, the story is on page 9. Two dead as Keke Okada riders cause chaos over ticket sales in Asaba. The story can be found on page 6. Police over... Politics over joint Tinubu to develop Nigeria, Governor Sule tells Peter Obi. Politics is over. Let's work together. That story can be found on page 7. UNICEF wants Nigeria to adopt global approaches to ending child poverty. The story is on page 9. And finally, our legislative agenda will enhance standard of living, says Apabio, the Senate President. Uh, the story can be found on page 7. Uh, that's all. Uh, Chooks? Um, the, the, the appeal still is to the military to please be cautious in seeking, you know, the bringing to justice of the people who heinously killed our soldiers. Um, uh, That's why they gave the assurance that the, yeah, you know, the assurance be, is coming at a good time. Yeah, but no, we would, no, no reprisal. We attack. would we would always insist that the assurance is actually what happens on the field of campaign. I'm not just words. You 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 you, you just read now. It was it was, it was a Victor, I think, that um, journalists were barred as of Burewari, That's the Delta mm -hmm. State Governor who went to Okwama. If they were barred, because of their safety because that could be a fact that's understandable but if they were barred so that they don't see what is happening uh, that would not be very palatable look at what is happening to israel at the moment what's happening in gaza has attracted international condemnation to the point that netanyahu and his government can't hide anymore let that not happen when we seek re um, uh, you know bringing people to justice yeah, it's always you see, the happy medium is always the better option in life. Don't be too lukewarm. Neither should you be too extremist in whatever you do. The happy medium is very, it's a very good, uh, you know, uh, way to live life. Virtue lies in the middle. It, that's according to Aristotle. Virtue lies in what? In the middle. In the middle. Okay. I, I didn't know that one. I just know about the happy medium. <laughs> I don't like extremists. Neither do I like people who don't take action. You must be seen to be moving in life. And the number of people you take along with you will make all the difference in terms of your dash to that desired destination. That's the point. Let the civilians work with the soldiers as they solve the problem, the issue that happened at Okwama. Let us know that what we must put in mind uppermost, have in mind uppermost, is that a national institution is threatened and when they no longer can perform their function boldly, assertively, 
our lives are all imperiled. It's not just the soldiers. <laughs> that, that, that's just a, 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 a little aspect of it. Please, we are not undermining the lives that, got, uh, that were lost. But it is the security of the nation that has been challenged when you kill our soldiers. That's the point. Away from, um, we've talked about the 86 ab abducted. And I say again, let us not create the impression that is such an ungovernable territory. We are, we are, God forbid, we are nowhere near what's happening in Haiti. But pockets mm -hmm. of, you know, me and uh, 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 in parts of the country does not speak well. Nigeria is too big to be scattered by any one unit of rebels or whatever. But still, our kinsmen, our brothers and sisters are suffering in those areas. We must bring this thing to a halt. Uh, and for emphasis, um, this is the third abduction in Kaduna in about two weeks or so. Actually, in third. actually in two weeks. Actually, third in abduction in Kaduna. So, yeah. is it an abandoned space? You are asking the question in other words. <laughs> is it such an ungoverned territory? It beats one's imagination. That they can go and, and at go the over end of and the go day, over It is our security forces that are being challenged as we are also collectively challenged. Because if you don't help the security forces, they are not going to become magicians in terms of mm -hmm. delivering the mandate you have given them when you said, please uh, uh, let peace reign uh, 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 in our midst. Mm -hmm. A group of elders are saying that um, a new constitution is what Nigeria needs. Um, you know, newspapers would always want to sell. Nigeria doomed without new constitution. Another editor could have said, Nigeria needs a new constitution. It depends has, on the... That, that, that issue has been on the front burner for a while now. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. The discussion is still ongoing. It's ongoing. Yeah. And Debola, let me say this. Let us also take note of the fact that some restructuring has started. The administration of uh, Muhammad Buhari has said... In fact, it's law now that a state can generate and distribute its own power. Autonomy to the local government was something that was really endeavored at. So while we say, let us not throw the baby out with the bathwater, because in all of these, in all of this, what I find out is that people tend to have a rather extremist view about the problems we have in this country. It doesn't help dialogue at the end of the day. I just looked at the list of the people who were talking with the Commonwealth, a former Commonwealth Secretary General, Emeka Anyoko, uh, Afeni Ferre, and the rest of them. Uh, 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 General Nikkei was there. General Nikkei Wachuku was there. I remember um, him. I'm a regular combatant. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. But, but there's nothing wrong, actually, in the revisiting the constitution there's nothing wrong they are saying that pe this piecemeal approach is not the best that they should do a new constitution that's the point i make but ayoko says well yeah. the confab report could as well serve in that regard if you adopt that then you have wholesale 2014 um, 2014 uh, confab should be revisited and tinubu has demonstrated that he has nothing against adopting what was suggested by a president so. in another party. Otherwise, Steve Oron Saye would not see the light of day today. You see, when I say I'm a, 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 a journalist, a, a half, a, 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 the cup is half full of water kind of journalist, right. I, I didn't say it to massage my ego. If you don't see positive things, positive things don't happen to your life. People who agonize on and on and on never leave mental penury. So we must learn to think. One of the things that I talk about here is how are we bringing up our children to think? Many Nigerians worry. They don't think. My so, thinking now is how to bring this conversation to an end. 
how to bring it to an end i expected to see a lot of no how you... to bring you to an end oh no <laughs> <laughs> to bring him to an end or to bring his uh, stint uh, <laughs> the parrot is singing too much <laughs> that is the title to what that you just is said. that is what i'm thinking right now how to just pause you for a Must while it happen every day no no because because we want you to spare some for tomorrow it's okay eh? no problem we want you to spare eh? some for you tomorrow know, Chukudi is always happy go lucky Jokes. you you win i lose <laughs> Jokes. thank you so much all right that's where we draw the curtain on good and um, pre and um, newspaper review for this <laughs> morning <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a break now the program continues stay with us